plantation exemplifies indigenous and non-indigenous relations to the land, specifically exploring wilderness and its different connotations. The term wild country is applied differently in regard to both indigenous and non-indigenous people. We must understand this term and in what context it is being used. In this case, Deborah Bird Rose breaks up country into two forms, wild and quiet. Wild is defined as the violence that the settlers bring to the land, whereas quiet is defined as the connection indigenous people bridge to the land. A quiet place is one where the evidence of human nurture is visible to those with the law to see it. A place where nature is in balance with human occupation, as opposed to a wild place where human impact has caused visible signs of environmental destruction. This is in direct contradiction to a Western concept of wilderness where the wild is a place that has no obvious signs of human interaction with the land. This is Marek reporting from Australia's wilderness. The indigenous aboriginals to wilderness is a sacred, healing, and abundant place where they practice ceremonies of traditional knowledge. continue caring for the country and non-indigenous people who wanted to colonize the land, they fought a luminous peace and waterways to war.
opportunity for poisoning and introduced. When Rose describes wild country, she discusses the European settlers and how they came to the New World with a false and misguided hope to create a life better than their life before. In efforts to create and build up the new, better world, the settlers brought great violence and death to the in indigenous people that inhabited this land before them, going against everything they thought they believed in. <laughs> The wilderness acts as a symbol of national belonging for Westerners. It was deemed a wild country since the touch of European settlers and the start of the industrialization period. Wilderness and national belonging give the idol a bigger meaning to the people who are not indigenous. Wilderness can be seen as the Australian outback. Wilderness, along with the desert, cannot be celebrated as something that is distinctively and deeply Australian. It's the least most European environment in Australia. It is something that marks our difference and uniqueness most clearly. In the Jewish and Christian religion, wilderness was thought as a place where God's presence is intensely encountered. According to Rose, quiet country is an ancestral track. It shows the care that has been or is sustaining it. Ancestral footprints sustain the living generation and sustain the living for future generations. <clears throat> In the Vic River District, people say that the country gives them body. The relationship is reciprocal, they take care of the country, and the country takes care of them. The country gives them body. The relationship is The settlers brought great values. Great violence and celebrated <laughs> as something that is distinctly sedacious. Farming or resources from other.